The calendar might look like a simple invention today, but in reality, it wasn't invented. It was humanity's first tool for survival. The earliest humans looked up at the sky to understand time, the movement of the stars, the changing face of the moon, the shifting shadow of the sun. This was their first calendar. And almost no one knows this, but around 30,000 years ago, humans carved lunar cycles onto bones. These markings are the oldest known calendar in human history. Every phase of the moon was a way to measure time. When agriculture began, the calendar became more than a record. It became a lifeline. Planting too early or too late could mean the end of an entire village. Then came the ancient Egyptians. By watching the flooding of the Nile, they created the world's first 365-day solar calendar. The foundation of the modern calendar we use today was actually built thousands of years ago. But the story didn't end there. The Roman Julian calendar made an error of just 11 minutes per year. A tiny mistake, but over 1,500 years, it pushed the seasons completely out of sync. Christmas was about to drift into spring. So in 1582, the Gregorian calendar was introduced. Throughout history, a simple calendar error has caused failed harvests, collapsed tax systems, shifted religious dates, even contributed to the fall of kingdoms. Why 12 months? Because of the 12 major constellations in the sky. Why seven days? Because the ancient world could see seven celestial bodies with the naked eye. The sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And the simple calendar we scroll through on our phones today? It is the quiet legacy of tens of thousands of years of watching the sky. A calendar doesn't just measure time. It organizes life, holds societies together, and shapes the future.